Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, let's create the previous pages, next pages, as well as we'll create the uh, top loading bars, all those things. So now what we are going to do here is, um, this is a website we have been there. We are fetching all the land news. So if you are new to the channel, please subscribe to my channel. So here is a playlist. You can access the particular playlist. So you can see the demo over here in this uh, fourth video. And uh, we have been creating the same uh, particular project inside uh, this uh, tutorial. So now what we are going to do here is we will be setting the previous as well as the next pages. Like how we can create, we'll just see over here. So now coming back to the <coughs> top headline. If I just come back to my Visual, Visual Studio code right now. So in the VS Stuart, uh, so VS uh, code, so what I need to do here is I need to just create the two things that is a previous button as well as a next button. So let's set the particular previous as well as a next button right now. So coming back to my news.js file, so what are you returning? So it is just returning the, uh, whatever the content is been there, it is just returning to the news.item. So now whenever I click the previous button as well as a next button, uh, the page should not get reloaded. So the thing should get only the component should change so that is what i want to just set it over here so what i'll do here is um, so, very, so here what i need to do here is so here my entire uh, stuff is getting closed so this is the uh, bar which is getting closed so i'll just uh, close like this so it is just it is just uh, going this so entire row has been closing over here right so after the row i want to just um, create a two buttons over here so what are the buttons i need to just create i want to just create a two buttons so here i'll just use the bootstrap buttons so let's tell div dot uh, let's tell div dot so here i'll just create one container so what is the container so container should be what deflex so dot deflex i'll show you from the bootstrap if i just show you here deflex so just show you here in a deflex so you can see if i want to have a deflex so we have the deflex over here i want to get the two things in this fashion so if i want to get these two things inside, inside this uh, fourth fashion one two three four so one two three i want to get in in this fashion means i want to just use what i want to just use a between over here so i want to just uh, use a between that is a justify content between so i want to just use a justify content between over here so i'll just tell uh div dot container dot deflex then i want to just use a dot i want to just tell justify so I want to have a justify that is a content justify content and it should be in the between okay so can you justify content between so I'll just choose the mm, and then a deflect like justify content between done so instead this one I need to have a button over here so I'll just use a button so I want to have a btn so button dark I need to have so I want to just have a btn then a dot mm, btn dark so I need to have a button of a class name that is a btn dark so what it should be there means so now it should be uh, something like it should be have uh, the previous button or next purpose is just simply i'll just give it as a previous over here okay so here for the previous i can just uh, set up of the few things so in this uh, particular button i can just set up a few things over here so what is the so before the previous button so i want to just uh, give two less than symbol for that one the code is ampersand uh, l a q l a q u uh, u o okay so is the thing so let's save it over here i just show you in the website so you can see i'm having a previous button over here so you can see i'm having a previous button over here same way i need to have a next button over right here so same way i need to have a next button i'll just copy the same thing i just give it as an ext next so this time the button name is a next so for this next one uh, what i need to what is the uh, uh, thing here is i want to just use greater than symbol so here i'll just use the greater than symbol so here it will be ampersand so that is a rock cube something or a cube you go so let's do it like this okay so i am having a uh, two things over here you can see i am having the uh, content that is a previous as well as a next button i am able to get it so done so here after uh, having the two steps so next so i'll just give the button is there and all the things will be done now so now i'll just give one uh, br tag over here so from the bottom i want to have a one space so now whenever i am clicking the previous button some function it should go on whenever i am clicking the next button uh, i want to load the new data so here you see only the 20 data i am able to load it over here not more than that so i want to uh, do something like um, i want to load the content from it i want to just load the new new content from the api case so what i'll do here is so here and the first i'll just set it for the previous click over here so i'll just set the uh, functionalities over here so inside my previous click so in the button so what i'll just do here is i'll just say uh, i want to say here it is a type is something it is a type is equal to button so i want to just keep it type is equal to it is a bu tdy and button so type is a button over here so 
so on click i want to just create one function on click c e l i c k click so whenever the on click function happens i want to just tell this dot this constructor to run so i am just giving the function name as handle previous so this function it should run so again i'll just check one condition so what is the condition i want to just disable this entire button so when there is no pages so i want to just disable it i'll just tell i'll just tell what are the this dot state dot page so whatever the page will be there if the, this the particular pages is less than one so i want to just disable it so for this one i need to just create one uh, content that is page i want to just set the page over here so for the initially i'll just set the particular page to zero over here okay so i'll just set the page to zero so the page has been set now so i am just uh, using this entire uh, functionality same way i want to just do it for the uh, handle nest also so here i'll just tell it here and here in the button i'll just create same thing i'll just uh, copy the same stuff i'll just paste it type button this one will be dot handle next so i'll just give it as a handle in ext next so i'm just uh, setting this as a function name as a handle set and i want to disable this page so what i need to do here is i'll just apply one uh, functionality over here so what i'll do here is i want to just set the particular page size as well as a total result so we have a total result you can see in the top headline bar if i just show you here if you so see here we have a uh, page size over here so we have a page size so what is the page size so here you can see we have a total result is 38 and they are saying uh, they are being passing me the page size also the size is what uh, 20 per particular uh, page 20 is a minimum one and they are and uh, default and 100 is a maximum they are giving in the one page they can it can be that much so suppose i want to display 10 particular content in the one page so i want to create one particular logic like whenever i am clicking on next so the next page uh, if the page is there if the next page is there this particular next button should show if the page is not there this button should not show it should show but it should be disabled same way when i am in the first page the previous uh, button should be disabled when i am in the third page previous button should be enabled as well as the next page should be enabled so for the particular concept we are using one particular uh, uh, logic so the particular logic is i'll just write it over here so what is that here i'll just tell if the particular page if the particular page is greater than or equal to i'll just apply the math function here i'll just tell math dot seal function so you see what the seal function does in the javascript so it will just divide and it will just return the particular um, thing the one in particular but the whatever the after the point the values will be there it will just return the previous number like that so here i'll just tell whatever the total results are there so if i'll just say if the this dot particular state dot total result i want to just set the particular according to a total result i want to just set it so here i'll just come back again i'll just put one more i'll just give it as a total uh, here i'll just set it as a total uh, or e s u l t results so i want to just set the total result so this one i'll just keep it as 100 right now so then i'll just get the page size also i'll just tell page size yes size that is size so let's give it as a page size is equal to something like 10 i'll just give it something later i'll come and fix that one uh, coming back here so i'll say math dot this dot uh, state dot total so i'll just say if the total result if my total is the current state of total result and it should divide with i'll just tell this dot props dot page size so let's tell props dot page size page size it should do whatever the props state is there it should be divided with this one so it should just divide if it's there it will just disable if it's uh if, if it is it if it is true it will be disabled if it's not if the condition is false this will be not disabled the button is not going to be visible so it is what the thing has been written so now coming back to here mm, here i have been set the particular uh, content over here so i have been set the article uh sorry sorry where is it yeah so we have been set the article so it is coming from the articles uh and this dot articles has been coming as well as a uh, state has been there as well as a page we have been set over here so what i need to do here is uh, one thing we need to just do it so here i need to just set the particular page value so initially i'll set the particular page value to uh, as one and i'll just set the uh, entire total results is equal to zero the page size so what is the page size is there so this page size we will be loading with the uh, some other uh, stuff so we will be uh, removing the page size over here so we'll load from the props okay, because we are loading the particular page from where you can see the page size i'm getting from the props right so we are not getting from this constructor so this is why i'm just keeping it therefore so then i'll just keep one loading here so i'll just keep one loading so load so loading i'll just put it later so first we'll uh, discuss one thing so now once it has been done so we have been getting all the uh, uh, stuff right now so we are having a common mount over here we have been uh, having a new url we have been setting the url of it then uh, all the past we got been setting the we need to set the progress all those things so later we'll be setting it 
so now what i need to do here is so here mm, so we have been setting the articles so i want to just pass uh, along with the articles i want to just pass uh, two of the uh, another uh, two things like uh, i want to just pass the total results and i need to just pass the what is the progress so i want to just pass one particular progress so progress will be setting because sorry not progress that is uh, for the top loading but later we'll see so now we have been uh, created we have been added to the button so now i need to just uh, create a function name so handle click we have been created and handle previous we have been created so i need to create the two functions right now so i want to just create a two functions right now so the same name it should be there so the whatever the things we have been uh, created so here what i'll do here is i'll just create uh, the handle previous function first so let's tell cons so i need to don't need to have cons i'll just create Mm. I'll just uh, say let's say NDL handle next function or a handle previous. I'll just set it first handle previous function. So what it does means I'll just create it is an asynchronous function. It is an asynchronous function. What it does means it will just uh, do few of the operation. So I'll say uh, this is my asynchronous amount and handling the particular. I'll just set the particular props of it. I'll just say this prop props. So, so later we'll set the props. So first I need to, I'm just setting in a handle previous function. So what it does means it will also get the same uh, data over here. So let's uh, just copy same thing. So with this right. So basically I'll just uh, copy the few big one uh, documentation. I'll just go back to the getting started. Okay, let's go back to here. So this time I'll get a uh, few big data. So where we have uh, at least uh, 69 we have right. I'll just copy this data. This is API key. So let's uh, use this API key over here. Okay, so this is API key. I'm just passing it over. So when what I want to do here is in the handle previous function, I want to just pass few of the things. So what is a few of the things I need to just pass here is so based on uh, okay country wise that all things are fine. So now what I need to do here is I want to just the main thing I want to just pass what uh, I want to just pass the particular uh, previous. I want to just pass the page size over here. So what is the page I'm, I need to just pass it. So so page size i have been calculated right now so i just sell here so i want to get the uh, whenever i click on the handle previous function i want to get the another uh, data so it should be coming from the page so what are the what is the page number so like one page second page two page like that so if i show you if i just show you here see i'm having like this if i just press i am percent if i just put the am percent and if i just tell page is equal to three so you can see the third page data i am getting only here if i just give here page is equal to two so now see we have a white uh, null we have at the author if i in the page number two here you can see the author has been different because they are having a different different page in the one page 20 data has been loaded so here i will just pass the page size i'll just sell here in the sorry okay 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 uh, i'll just pass it like that. i'll just copy this url i'll just copy so here what i'll just pass i'll just pass the page size i'll just give the amp percent over here the amp percent then i'll just tell pag page is equal to now i'll just pass the particular data so in the in this particular fashion i'm just using the template literal so here what i'll say whatever the current page is there what are the current pages there so the current page is what the current page is one the first page is one i want to just minus with one over that one so i'll just tell what are the this dot set dot state i'll just tell this dot state what are the this dot state uh, dot page number is there i want to just minus with one that's it so this is the thing which has been going on so once it has been uh, set it to one then what i need to do here is um i want to just uh, same thing i need to just do it so this is the data i need to just pass it like uh, almost i'll just copy everything from here i'll just set it i'll just paste it over here so that's all so same way i'll just create one more function this will be what handle next handle any xt next function so what this handle next function does means same thing it will just take so this time what it is been going to do here is it will be uh, just in the handle function it will be uh, doing with the uh, page size plus one it will just do it okay so the page is equal to so it will just tell so what are the page will be there it will just set it to plus one okay so the page is equal to plus one it will just set the particular uh, page to page uh, plus one that's it okay so then after doing that much then not all the data will be there it will get and it will just just pass the particular data uh, so i want to just set one more thing so in this uh, thing i want to just set one more thing so whenever uh, the page is been get so whenever the, the page is minus one so what are the current page number will be there that i need to update so what are the current page number is there that i need to update it inside my page okay so or else it will be a confusing one so when i need to do here is uh, when my particular page has been set so whenever the data has been there whenever the data has been passed so what i need to do set here is i want to just set the particular content so whenever the past data is there so whenever the data has been um, 
God, whenever the data enter in that, before passing to this, so before the studying the state, I need to just set few of the stars. So first, what I need to do here is I need to just set the particular page number over here. So whatever the page number will be there, I'll just set this dot state. Whatever the result state dot page with minus one. So I want to just set the particular page number with the minus one over here. So then again, I need to just pass the articles. I'm just passing as you know. Then I'll just uh, so whatever the loading loading letter will do. So I have been setting to the page. It's been fault. Okay, done. So this is the one thing I need to do. So same way, I need to just do it here itself. So I'll just do it here. So here, what I need to do here, I need to just plus with the plus particular one. I need to just set it with the plus one. I'll just copy this page, and here I am just setting with the plus one. So very easy, nothing like rocket science. So I'll just save it. So now once I save, let me see any errors in my website. I just come back to here now we have this particular page so now i'm in the home page so now see uh, if i just come down you can see the previous page has been empty if i just click on to the next page so you can see the new data has been loading the new data has been loaded so when all the change has been done so new data has been loaded so 20 20 we are being having 20 again 30 so again if i just click on to the next so again i'm having the 30 if i just click on to the next okay so now you can see at the last i am not able to uh, this particular thing has been not able to set because i have not set the particular page size i need to set the particular the previous is working so you can see i am i am it's been working so i just go back to the previous now it is what now uh, facet so now i want to get the app if i just click on to the next so if i just click on you can see amct if i just click on to the previous page now it will just go to the one more uh, country it is facet all the things is working here previous page is working all the particular page is working but at the last i'm not getting the this particular is not getting disabled so if i just come back to my home page you can see when the state is zero and the particular button has been disabled so you can see the particular button has been disabled right now so i'm having the next button over here so now because of that for now i'll just setting the page size now so we'll be setting the particular page size so what i'll do here is from the napper i'll just set the particular uh, page size sorry from the app dot uh, js i will set the particular uh, we can just be just set the particular uh, page size okay so in this page size what i need to do here is i need to just say the what is the page size will be there that i need to just set it so where i can just set the particular uh, page size here is so just a second so so i'll just set the okay the key page page okay page size i'll be setting from where from the navbar i'll be setting it right now so now coming back to my navbar so sorry from the app.js file so in the app.js file i'll set the particular page size so where i'm just passing the news so here i'll just set the particular page size i'll just set the particular page size should be only i want to just display five data okay so i just i want to just set the five data coming back to the news so here five will be getting passed as a props here the five is going to getting in the form of a props so in my news.js i can able to get the particular page size so here i can just get the page size right now so in the page size what i am doing here is so with the page size i can play with now so what i'll do here is wherever there is a page size first i need to just now so here you see we are having a total result we are having a page all the things within but but the page size i want to just set it so here i'll just pass the page size over here so i can just pass the page size where in the particular component did mount so in the component did mount what i'll do here is i'll just pass the particular page size so here i'll just give one more attribute one more particular uh, attribute that is i'll just put a ampersand i'll say dollar i'll say dollar here i'll just set it now so i'll say this dot props dot page size so that is a props man i'll just say this dot props dot page size so whatever the page size will be there it will get passed over here same way i'll just pass the page size here also in my uh, handle list i'm just passing right the page size so if i come back here if i just refresh the page so you see one two three so all the thing all the data i'm getting it but i need to just pass the page size right so here i just pass the page size even here also i need to just pass the page size over here so i just paste it so let's tell am percent is dot uh, props dot page size and here wherever the component did mount so even i need to just pass the page size over here in the component did mount i need to just pass the page size so what is the page size so here i'll just say uh, first i'll set the particular page also here so i want to just set the page as well as as well as a page number also so I'll just say it here as and ampersand. I'll just tell ampersand the page should be is equal to one. The particular page should be equal to one whenever the page is getting loaded. And the page size I want to get the page yes size that is size. So I, how I am able to get to know from the where and the entire the page size is been getting. So let's tell this dot props dot 
page size so how you know uh, this is a page size should be coming as well as well as the page is equal to one should be there according to the documentation according to the documentation we are able to we are going to access the documentation in the head in the particular uh, top headlines they have been given here so here you can see I can set the page size as well as a page number also with the uh, with the particular at the by using ampersand at the last now you can see i'm having five content only one two three four five so when if i just uh, refresh the page so you can see i'm having a five content so all the thing has been gone okay okay so if i just uh slowly i'm getting a five news so if i just open like this okay okay so the next is not working as well as the previous previous is also not working let's see what is that thing which are the issues i need to have so i'm just passing the page sign Mm, the read amount so now in the i think in the previous i need to give the page size i am just giving the page i don't need to give the okay i need to get the particular page size also so i am page size equal to the uh, we need to just give this dot pops dot page size we have been given so this dot pops the page size we have been given but uh okay so we have been setting the entire page so whenever uh, whenever the handle previous function does so what we have done we have been set the particular page value as well as the stuff we have been done so all the things have been working fine but uh, i am having one error that is uh, i am not getting the next pages next buttons also uh, let all the next i am not getting it here so what i way i am not getting in the next year is because um, page size i need to just uh, set it over here so see here in the button in the next button we have been set the particular uh, whenever uh, i want to be disabled when when the math whenever this disabled should happen when the this dot state dot page if it's greater than the this particular math sales component it's whatever the total results will be there it should be uh, whatever the page size will be there it should be uh, you should just just divide it if it's done i want to just uh, disable this button else i want to just show this particular button so that is what i want to just do it here so this is the thing and coming back to here this is also the uh, whenever uh, this particular condition satisfied it should be there so i'll save everything coming back here so let's go back to the home page so now i'm having but uh, the buttons is not coming so why it is not coming all the thing is working fine but uh, the buttons is been not uh, getting the previous as well as a nice button so let me see what well, let me inspect so or as i'm forgetting any way to set up the particular page size yes i'm just forgetting any way to set up the particular page size so i am getting a page size perfectly so i'm getting a page size over here that is fine I'm getting the particular page size over here. Uh, static, I want to just define, I want to just set the particular page size value. So if I just enable, I'll know I'll just enable this particular thing. Let me see if I just enable this much. Mm, no, it is not the thing because that is for the entirely, that is for the business uh, way, uh, for where we have been set if uh, I have been added. So now what I'll do here is let me uh, check whether where I have been uh, gone wrong and uh, I'll come back. okay guys uh, there was a only silly mistake what was the mistake here is i not set here i am percent i need to just give it here as a page yes size ready size i want to just give the page size is equal to so this is the thing i not given so page size i'll just give it here as well as a uh, here okay page is equal to one okay page is equal to one and page size i have given for this one and previous for here and even here i have not given so wherever the page page size is there i want to just give it like this so now if i just save all these things if i just come back now you can see the okay okay again i am not getting it why okay so you can see we have been i'm not getting the page size so if i just uh previous button and this is the enabled so again it has been disabled so it has been getting disabled because uh, so here i have been set the uh particular page size over so if i just given an is equal to uh page size is equal to the entire stuff and the particular page is being set to this dot state dot set size done so page size has been coming so now i think i need to just update somewhere else so here i want to say um so i need to just set the particular uh, so here i am just getting the data and i'm getting the past data then what else i have given here is uh so here then i need to just set the particular page articles i have been set so even though it is not getting okay 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 so i want to just uh do one more stuff 
okay so i think uh, here i need to uh, so here you see we have been set the particular total result to zero right so because of that operation is not going to happen here the next stop button is been not getting clicked because it have been divided with whatever the current share is there we are been dividing with the page size so zero divided by 20 is false right so i need to set the particular page size value over here so that i need to update inside the mount category and here i need to just update it the particular state so here i need to just say uh, whatever the results is there so whatever the results total results is there so total results i need to just say that is a parsed data sorry the prc parse data dot articles dot so i need to just set the particular total results over here so so i'll set here as a parsed data dot uh to uh, pass data dot uh total results so what are the total results is there i need to just set it so what are the total results with what are the past data dot total results like how many results we are having like suppose uh, we are having uh, and uh coming here if i am having the results as if i just go back to the documentation if i am having the uh, so for getting started so if i am having the particular results as the total results are 982 i want to divide it with the 982 so i want to just set the particular total results value also right so just i am setting the particular total results value right now so that is what the thing was missing so now i'll just save it all i just click on the save all now coming back to my website you can see there is no error so now if i refresh it so now you are having we are having it here so you can see we are having a next product if i just click on to the next you can see i'm getting the new data has been getting loaded if i just click on to the next you can see i'm getting the new data has been loaded if i just click on to the previous pages so the new page is and the, the particular data has been loaded over here so my website is working perfectly so you can see we uh, have added the previous button as well as the next button in our website so now now so here somewhere column is coming so somewhere semicolon is coming so from here the semicolon is coming i'll i want to just see it now let's press ctrl f i'll just see where is my semicolon so there are so semicolon is here 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 somewhere here 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 then here i'll just remove this much then uh, somewhere else okay semicolon is here as well as here anywhere else so don't have i'll just save it all let me see so yeah it is gone okay so now all the things has been working fine so that's all for this video guys and i'll see you in my next video we'll be creating a top loading bar then what else we can just throw, uh, do here is we can just set the font size we'll add the c whenever i just click i need to one more thing is very much important concept in my documentation in the end points the top headlines so as i said i want to get i want to just put everything inside one particular category you can see in my um particular they have been given in the documentation like where is it so here you can see they have been given a, a, a number of categories so here we have how we have been set it over here so now what i'll do here is i'll just remove this one so i'll just uh, remove these articles i don't need it so i'll just remove this article so simply it is a very long uh, article so i'll just remove it so better than removing it so what i'll do here is i'll keep uh, only few con content so from where from the here i'll just remove everything from source to source i'll just keep very 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 less over here so i'll just uh, keep till here i'll just remove till here so i'll just keep uh, only one line of code okay so this much let it be so now what i need to do here is you can see how we are setting the how we are say here we see top headlines country is usa i'm getting as a us i want to just pass the india here and whatever the category is business only the business i'm getting so if i want to get the categories of the entertainment i need to just pass the entertainment at that particular place as well as the general health and science sports technology all those things i need to just pass it here okay so in the category as well as the country i need to just pass two attributes so we'll see the country wise we'll see with the categories wise in the next video and we'll be seeing the top loading bar all those things and uh, how we can load the particular pages so i'll see you in my next video if you are new to the channel please subscribe to my channel and take care bye bye